so many people requested a settings video so that's what we're doing today we're doing controller settings as well as the hud i'm on an ipad air so with six generations of devices it might not necessarily be perfect for what you're looking for but i'll at least kind of walk you through how the hud works and to get some basic controller settings dialed in especially if you want to do some custom bindings whether you normally play on tactical flip triggers or whatever the case is we'll go through that example so first off what we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and show off of the hud if i go to the controls you're gonna go ahead and see it kind of set up like this i'll put the code in the description and i'll go ahead and explain how to make that code work and what you can do is not everything's going to look the exact same as it is in match this is the exact way i have it set up but once you get in match it'll look slightly different and that's the key you know, because of the so many different dimensions of devices you'll go ahead and kind of have to mix and move around things to fit your individual preference. Maybe you don't want this in the corner. Maybe you want that. So you can go to, this gives you at least a good starting point uh, to work with. And you kind of have that all there. What I'll do is go ahead and go here and then I can go ahead and broadcast. And now it says code has been copied to clipboard. So this is a specific one you'll enter. You'll go ahead and hit this corner thing. And then what you'll do is delete all this empty text or nonsense text essentially. And then when you go ahead and paste it, that's essentially what you have to type in that box to get my exact HUD. And then you're gonna go ahead and mix and match depending on your individual layout. If you're on a phone, you're gonna have a wider screen. If you're on a tablet, you might have slightly different dimensions. If you're on a pro, if you're on an Android, there's gonna be some slight difference in tweaks there to get the HUD looking like that. That's pretty much the way you want it. And it feels like a little bit more like Warzone 1 or even Warzone 2, 3, it looks like the console and PC version in terms of the HUD placement. Sensitivity, I am normally a 6.6 six sensitivity player, 0.8 or something like that. This is kind of how I have mine set up. Uh, I have horizontal, vertical, four, pretty low. And then um, I have the global ADS uh, set to 0.5. You could go high as 0.7 or something like that. This is for low sense players. If you're a high sense player, you gotta kind of work that out yourself. Um, I do have ADS transitioning. I have that set to instant. And then ADS presume I have that off. And that just kind of keeps it pretty straightforward, simple. There's not a lot of other settings there. There are other gameplay settings. Those are more applicable if you're using touch instead of controller. So we won't really worry about much of those today. So when it comes to the settings, you're going to go ahead and go to this little tab right here, which is general. And then you're going to go ahead and look through the list here. And you can see right here we have one that says game controller. So we're going to go ahead and click that one. And then what we're going to do is add a profile. In this case, I already have a new profile. So we'll go ahead and look at that one. Since I use flip triggers, I go ahead and go in here and I assign L1 to L2, R1 to R2, and then I go ahead and swap them both. If you want to do tactical, you would change your R3 to like circle or something like that. The opposite with that. And then you'd swap circle to R3. And, I, and I'm pretty sure this will work on Xbox, PlayStation, or whatever controller you want to use. I'm using a PS5 controller so this is kind of how it has set up unfortunately with the mini map you won't be able to rebind that one you just press that share button and then it'll pop up the mini map you can go ahead and zoom in like you would normally on the controller uh, and that's kind of how that would set up even though you would change the settings here when it comes to in game you'll still see the hud set up with individual controllers it'll still say l1 and r1 for your lethals and your tacticals uh, even though they're technically going to be L2 and R2. The game doesn't register it, but the inputs are getting registered. On top of that, if you're looking to play wired while charging your device, they have these USB-C digital AV dongles, which essentially give you a USB-C. This one has an HDMI, which that's so I can record the gameplay. You don't really need that one. Um, but then they have the USB. So you can cut, plug in your controller directly and it'll re register it. And that does cut down on some of the latency uh, while you still have the USB-C that'll allow you to charge it. So those, I, I was able to get mine on Amazon for like seven bucks um, with all of those. And you could just plug it in. Or if you're using a backbone, you could have it set up with that as well. Especially that's probably more common on the go and not necessarily carrying around your controller. So that's kind of how I have it set up. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching as always. Have a great day.